All right, we're here with Lee Leachman from back in my neighborhood at, in Wellington, Colorado, Leachman Cattle of Colorado, and uh, we're at uh, Decatur County, Kansas, uh, yeah. talking with uh, cow-calf producers here in association with Decatur County Feed Yard, and Lee um, has talked a little bit about some trials that uh, he's done in conjunction with, uh, with Decatur County and kind of a unique arrangement between seed stock producer and uh, feed yard trying to produce data that'll go back to the cow-calf producer and uh, help them in their genetic selection and then in their retained ownership programs. So I wonder if you just tell me a little bit about um, some of the, the trials and, and work that you've done here with Decatur County and what you've seen. You bet, John. Um, you know, the great thing is that our approach has been to try to help our customers make more money on their calves, and Decatur County's approach has been the same thing. How do we, how do we help producers look at the data and learn what they're doing? And so it was a natural thing to team up, and we've had some common customers, and what those customers have done is they've used the benchmarking at Decatur County to find out how their cattle perform in the feed yard and on the rail and actually some, some very unique ways of looking at that that sort of take all the market and environmental um, abnormalities out of it and just get you down to purely how they perform and then, and then go back and use that data to pick the right bulls to maximize their progress. Um, that conceptually has been what we've all been about for a long time, but today the technology is so powerful on, on the database they have and how we can withdraw that data, and then the EPDs and the indexes we have, we're actually able to show people where they rank in terms of how valuable their feeder calves are, and then we can actually dial in bulls that will maximize their improvement. And so we've been actually going out and setting up test herds that take baseline genetics from the industry and then compare them to our top indexing sires and then track that through the feedlot and show them the actual differences that exist. You mentioned one trial where you used some bulls in a, in a, in a herd and brought the, the calves back here and compared the results to some baseline data from, from the, the bulls that they had been using and showed considerable improvement just in one generation. Yeah, it was, it was just a, we just turned out the entire bull battery, so, you know, not something people typically do, but we turned over the entire bull battery one year to the next. We increased the weight of their yearlings by, by right, basically 90 pounds or you know, at least $70 in today's market. And then those cattle came into the feedlot and they gained more and they killed at a heavier weight and they had better carcass data. And so we, we tacked on another $75 in the feedlot. So we increased those in one turn, $145 a calf, which is, you know, taking a producer from below average to, uh, you know, moving them up almost into the top 15% and just, just transitioning the bulls. You talked a little bit more about uh, just the opportunity that producers have with the, the, the way that the market outlook is shaping up for the years, approaching years, and somebody who can get ahead of the curve and, and improve their efficiency and improve the, the value of their cattle at the same time is really going to be in a good position to capitalize on the, the kind of market outlook that we're, that we're seeing. You know, good genetic cattle have always been worth more we can measure that at Decatur. As the market goes up, the value of those best genetics, the difference from the mean genetics becomes even wider. And that's what we're looking at. And, and, and you know, producers today, you know, A, they have the, 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 the profitability to go ahead and invest in genetics, but the payback on those genetics are higher today than they've ever been. So it's a pretty neat time to be in the business. We've got great tools. We've got operations that'll benchmark and, and show you the value, and we've got cash flow and, and profitability to, to help fund it. It's just a great time to be in the cattle business.